buddy Megan has arrived to Epping Forest finally. And ooh, she is just quite slimy right now. Um, just came off the road over here. And this is, this is totally not an entrance that I'm at but it's a side entrance, so that's what we're doing. Finally back in nature. This time, I'm out here in the London nature. This is the closest forest that I could find. Spend time in. Ooh. When I was riding, I swear, with my sunscreen and all my sweat, all the bugs were just like flying and sticking to my face. I just checked my Strava and I'm at an hour 22 and about 12 miles out. I'm gonna try and find a more quieter area that is further away from the road, so we're gonna go deeper into the forest. I'm here having my lunch, fresh from Tesco. We got Tesco's finest barrel aged feta and butternuts, couscous. Gonna have some of that. And then we got some of the mango, Tesco mangoes. And we got the Kinder. One thing about London compared to Tokyo is that they've got their freaking like prepared meals down. Like, they have so many vegetarian options. Um, I can't really smell it. Mm. I've decided I'm just gonna use this log as my table instead of my bench. For me, it's like so necessary to have these bike rides and have these like moments with nature. Just me and nature, no one else. It's really relaxing and gets me out of bed. So far, I've been in London for over three weeks now, and I think I can finally like have a grasp on what I think of the city compared to Tokyo and to preface this as well I'm here in London for modeling I'm here for two months so after being here for three weeks I have figured that daily life is not as inspiring as Tokyo um, but that's just I don't know that's sort of a given as well because Tokyo people in Tokyo spend extra amounts of time like an attention towards detail so that makes like your everyday experiences like more enhanced in a way um and in london i've already gotten used to like the daily life so easily and gotten used to like my surroundings because it's a little bit monotonous for me london has been really great for meeting people who are interested in like similar things as i am like film and art and i've been able to meet like so many different artists, so many really creative people, and people that are really their own character. In Tokyo, I feel like there's a lot of robotic people in that people will just mimic other things they see around them, and it's, you see like the same person everywhere almost, if that makes sense. And this is an obvious one, but of course, coming to London, I've been able to communicate so much easier with people. And that has also added to just my ability to connect with people and to network and whatnot with other artists and meet other like-minded people. In Japan, I could do that to a certain extent, but my language skills would limit me, so. PSA for everybody, 
dried mangoes taste exactly like candy. Like, they're sweet, but a little bit tart, and they're, they're, they're amazing, really.